Anna Algabra Hernandez, interview part two, the artist, the poet, the humanitarian. Anna Algabra Hernandez. And so tell us about the, the Algabra. Yeah. Okay, the Algabras. The Algabras come from Cabuyo, Laguna. So hi to everyone that's from Laguna. I'm sure there are a lot of people who come from lot. Laguna. A uh, lot. Yeah, they come from Cabuyo, Laguna. And my grandmother is Salud Algabre. Salud Algabre is one of our Philippine heroes, actually. She she is um, she's actually called the Generala because she, she was a general at that time. Uh, of the Sakdal party. So she led a revolution and uh, she was very brave. She fought for the Philippines. Because uh, I know we can, I, I'm, I'm not being political, but anyhow, yeah, just to cut the long story short, um, mm -hmm. yeah, she was a, she was one of our Philippine heroes and she, she passed away sometime in 1970. And there will be a, a movie or a theater show that is supposed to be shown this year, come September, by the by the Tanghalang Filipino. Me, what's the title again? I think Generala Salud, Generala Salud, and um, it will be shown sometime in. Okay, I should have reviewed it. Um, sometime in September or October this year. They were gathering materials because they did. She was what we call one of the unsung heroes of the Philippines. But of course, now a lot of people, now that there's technology and it's easier to do research, you don't have to go to the place, you can just put it in, check the archive, you can talk to people like this. Um, so uh, they're trying to gather materials about the heroism, the bravery, and the beauty that is uh, General or Generala Salud Algabre. Wow. And I'm very happy. Not because she's my grandmother, but because she is really a symbol of an empowered woman. Right. She made a difference. I mean, very early on, she was already paving the way for women. The empowerment. That's right. That's, yes. Actually, she was married and she has she ha she has children, um, but she kept her surname. At that time, it, it's not, uh, you know, it's not, not really a, something yeah. that's quite common for the Philippines. Not at all. But she kept her surname. But uh, otherwise, she married somebody whose surname is Generala. Generala. But she became known as Generala Salud, not because of the surname Generala of the guy she married, but because she was the general in the Sakhalista party. And now it's Anna, the artist. house is where my first painting where um, that I was confident enough to show okay this one's I think I uh, yes I put them on Instagram last is that Palayok is that called Palayok you, Palayok and also the other one is also a Palayok which is open and uh, my inspiration for this one are again the Philippine women particularly in the Cordillera region uh, because part of the purpose of my art is also to promote our indigenous culture, promote the, not only the region, but also the culture and the people of Cordillera. Anna, the humanitarian. So, besides artwork and your travels, what other things do you like to do or you have time to do that you know now you're back in the philippines what would you like to accomplish yes i'm, I'm i don't consider myself uh, accomplishing any of those fields I, I just know a little bit of painting i just know a little bit of poetry a little bit of writing so uh <laughs> so humble like to, especially my art i'd like to use it to for charity so in fact we will have this uh, exhibit with the angeles museum my mom is Kapampangan, is from Pampanga, so, uh, and I grew up in Angeles City. It was only my university days that I went to Manila, and then when I was 
made my career with Cathay that I went to Hong Kong and that's where we met. Right, anyway, absolutely. So, we've been exhibit with the Museum of Museo ng Angeles, meaning in English it's Angeles Museum, and the proceeds will benefit the construction, renovation, and the purposes, uh, in the improvement, general improvement of the museum. So these are the things that I'd like to talk in. Use my art to be able to help others. Um, yes. And and um, I also volunteered. <laughs> I also volunteered to some schools that are especially with special children to read my short story uh, because they're in Tagalog. So and uh, and sometimes the challenge also is that um, some of the schools. Um, the, the children are more comfortable with English stories, with stories that are written in English. So that is, uh, but you know, um, they have to be multilingual, especially nowadays that we all have to be global citizens. We know where we belong, we know our identity, but we are not just Filipinos, but we are global citizens, responsible globally. And El Gabri Hernandez on Vilma Live in LA. So next week, we have part three, and she talks about her experiences traveling the world. In terms of uh, places where we are posted, we just finished Turkey. Like, so from Korea, he was first posted to Ankara. So that means he finished his, um, they call it the tour of duty, the duration of tour of duty abroad. So now he's back in the Philippines to assume a position in the home office in the Department of Foreign Affairs headquarters.